Hello, um, let's talk about web server and uh, web container. Uh, in last two videos, or especially the first video, I talk, I mentioned about HTTP server. When user click a link in the browser, it's gonna make a request to the server. So what kind of web server or HTTP server do? Okay, and uh, that's the content about uh, this uh, video. Okay, let's uh, start. Okay, and uh, go here. Oh, no, this way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So what does the web server serves for us? Um, for that, you, uh, we can I can give you answer now. Yes, it can serve for the static content. So what are the static content? Like uh, HTML. Suppose you have index.html file. That's a static content because you cannot, whatever the content contains, we just uh, send back to the browser the browser just uh, uh just what display suppose you you cannot change the html um uh dynamically uh suppose you want to ch change some content displayed in the browser you have to open that html file then make changes in the source code then you put it in the server then when you request the H request again, the content will be changed. Okay, this is a static content, and others like a CSS file, this static content, and a, a JS file, .js file, and also like images, PDFs. Okay, all of them are called static content. Only when you uh, it doesn't change no matter how many time uh, what should I say oh the web server doesn't process the file in order to give the response to the um, browser so web server only serves for those static content which means suppose in the browser you are asking for uh, the browser make a request, okay, make a, an HTTP request and ask for get uh, like uh, uh, main.js file and HTTP 1.1 and uh, on the web server, it just find in, in your web server, it just trying to find, okay, okay. Uh, there's uh, one location here has all the static content like index.html, the source code, main.js, and the main.css, and have a.jpg, those files, those are the content which is served in this uh, web server. Okay, and uh, when we have a requ HTTP request comes, to this web server say I want to get this main.js then web server will locate it. okay do I have a main.js oh it's fine if it's fine it just read the file and return everything back to the uh, browser it carried in the HTTP response it doesn't process the file it just locate what it is do I have if I have written and if I don't have give for for I cannot find so this is a web server so so this is a web server so but uh, when in reality is that all the things which happened in reality no so uh, we um, like uh, this website let's go to a website okay uh, I think this is that website called Time. Yes, yes. See here, this is a website which is a show current time, right? You can see it's always a change. 
this uh, this is seconds this is minutes this is hours it's always change suppose we just have a dot html file and uh, can it achieve this it cannot because uh, for dot html file it can only has one like a uh, like a 50 seconds and it cannot be changed over the time so for the web server it cannot serve for those dynamic content got it so that's what web container do web container serves for dynamic content like the one I just show you show current time you cannot achieve through HTML because we cannot every time go to the HTML and change the file deploy cannot right so the dynamic content is gonna be uh, 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 what thing deployed on web container so what kind of technology can be used to serve those dynamic content it has many technologies but the one I'm gonna uh, we introduce this one called the server late and the GSP. Okay, you we server late GSP. They can serve for dynamic content, which can achieve what are uh, uh, the uh, this time yes, this the current time and always change it there. Okay, for us, and every time you make a request, it will change. Uh, probably I we have to do something else in order to show exactly like this okay but uh, basically what I mean uh, the main thing is the server can on, web server can only serve a steady content okay the files and uh, if we want to show dynamic content we have to use a uh, container web container and the web server the free and the most commercial uh, application we use the popular one is called Apache okay I think IIS for Microsoft they also can uh, they can it can also do web server and the web container uh, the one we are gonna use for our uh, application or for entire this uh, Tom uh, serverlet GSP playlist we are using Tomcat a uh, Tomcat also can be used as a web server, but not as powerful as Apache. But it's uh, enough for Academy, okay? And there's another one is called the Glassfish. Glassfish is also for J2E, which you can have, uh, um, like uh, you can deploy other application like EJB those, but. Um, um, we don't use Glassfish for this one. It also have others like a WebLogic, Web Server, and others. I think IIS also can do as a web container. So that's basically the difference between web server and uh, web container. Okay, and thank you for watching. And next video, we will start talking about Serverlet and uh, GSP. Okay. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.